Hey everybody, this is Alsrath, and welcome back to Solasta. Today we are actually dropping off the last of our like little artifacts, if you will. Uh, we're going to be talking to hey, the please. Tower of Knowledge. How are you today? Do you have some lovely loot from the Badlands? Yes, we do. Um, I guess we say, Indeed. how about that? Okay, there we go. We can actually get a little bit of extra rel relation by selling those. Guys to you. This is like my third choice for faction. We're not too concerned about the church, so... We'll get them leveled up. As far as our current relations, we actually have fairly decent relations with most of them. So you can see we get a 20% rebate from Antiquarians. We get a 10% rebate from Mazgarth. And then they can join us in battle. This faction doesn't care about us because we don't care about them. So we'll deal with them probably later. But right now, our main ones are Antiquarians and Arcanium is the two that we're focusing on. Principal Principality of Mazgarth is going to be kind of like one of those that, A, we are going to just kind of do, I think, by doing the quests, we get aligned with them. Scavengers are kind of the same way. I think we want Tower of Knowledge over Circle of Denantar just because, well, we can. We already had a little bit of relation with them anyway. So let's go ahead and look at their Deputies. wares real quick, though. How are you today? Probably different wares for each and every one. So let's see we your wares. Your services. And what kind of artifacts you have. Because they... Oh, they've got recipes for stuff. Okay. So they're almost entirely a crafting-based one. Interesting. And this one, we actually don't... We, we need a better relation with them to afford that. But we can actually make a uh, burden poison bolt. Crafting potion of heroism. Scroll of Burning Hand. So they've got all kinds of interesting things here, at least. And we just need better relations with them to get access to them all. So Ice Storm. Holy crap. So there is actually a fairly decent mix of stuff going on here. So I'm not opposed to them as a faction. It's just I'm not going to be running them right away. I think we already got one of Viper's Bite as well. What I'm mostly interested in, though, is the fact they don't actually have any of the books for making... Enchanted items, do they? They do not. It's just all scrolls and stuff. Sweet. So they are not very useful. Yeah, antiquarians are going to be our uh, main go-to. We may switch up who has the uh, cloak of protection. We'll see in the future. But now we have quests. So we have a few missions to do. So quest log, we have honor your masters, which is going to be over here. Speak with Mat Master Dokken. Uh, Master Dokken of the Guild of Antiquarians wishes you to talk to a party member who is a former student of his. And we also have the Arwen Merton story. Don't find out much about Arwen Merton. Maybe something will come up if you really did decide, did used to be famous. So I think we have a choice between those two. I'm actually not sure where Merton is. In the cutscenes, he's always there. That's an unknown drunk. And yeah, I don't see Merton anywhere. I'm not sure where we would actually... Yeah, I'm not sure where we'd actually find out information about him, unless he's hiding somewhere on the map that we're unaware of. So, let's see. Tracking the quest. That's not going to be Merton there. That's Master Dokken. That's the one that we'd actually have to go talk to. I'm not seeing Merton anywhere. Maybe we could talk to her about him just real quick, and then figure out where we're going from there. So, Annie, what do you have to tell us about Merton? So we can actually figure out some of this. I'm not sure where to go for this. Clear skies, my friends. So let's see. Nope. No information well, from you. Thank you. That's fine. I guess that's I guess we'll find us. out the information later, the maybe. Light, my friends. And yes, I am talking over her. Probably shouldn't do that because I actually have it set to where the uh, voice volumes are pretty close to my own. So that's kind of a mixed bag. And I think we already did check here for more missions. We probably shouldn't have any. Yeah, we don't have any there. So I guess we track the other one. We're doing side quests first just because that's how we do things in games like this. You always do the side quests because they can give you perks that will help you with your main quest eventually. Just by either levels or by additional stuff. It's not bad. So let's see. Where's Dakin? Hi, Dakin. There's Bright Spark. Yeah, we'll just go straight to you. So what do you want with us, my friend? What do you want? You came. I wondered, considering your new rank. How are you, Master? It's nice that you pretend to care. Are you going to hate me forever? I don't hate you. I just... Well, it was your right to leave and pursue a life of adventure. 
even if it wastes your academic talent. It serves me well, thanks to you. Maybe. Still, I'm without an assistant. Times have been hard. The guild offered me a posting. South. You're not getting your department chair? Evidently not. Unless I can make a major contribution. That's why I wanted to see you. I heard you went to Kerlem in the marches. That's right. There is an old Tirmarian tower there. Oh, yes. Very impressive, too. If I could just explore it, bring something back, something the guild couldn't ignore, I would have a chance at this chair. The scavengers say it's safe now. I can go. But once there, I'll need, well, some specific expertise. And that's us. It could salvage my career. Of course. I owe you that much, Master. Thanks. Find me at Kerlem, then. I'll be ready. We'll see you there. Stay in the light, Master. Ah, so we've got to go escort the old man. Okay, that's fine. I can escort old men. So it wants us to go to Kerlem for that. Our other journal, our main quest is to go to... Travel the place that the crown bearer is being drawn to. Search for a gem. Okay, so we actually have a few things here. We still don't have any leads on Merton, so I may or may not actually worry about that one, just depending on what we can actually find. I'm not going to go out of my way to search for it just yet. I mean, if we're doing the final playthrough, sure, but this one's literally just almost a test run, if you will. It's the beta. It's the pre-release stuff. That's why we have Eraser, Hasanka, and Plumot Soul, and Grey, just because, you know, puns and bad jokes. Would that really be? I'm not even sure that would actually be considered a pun. Just a play on words based on the gray skin of our dwarf. So that's where... Oh, wow. Okay. that That's a long ways away game. That's quite a journey. Oh, my. Okay. And actually, we there's like so much map around here. I'm actually not... I'm wondering if there's going to be stuff in between these points or if it's just going to like lock us off into little areas. But I'm going to go to Kerlem first. Because it is just a three-day journey. It is really close. We just travel there. We're happy. We go for a normal travel. Just go about our usual stuff. I was told I should have a ranger on the final party. I'm considering it. Why we started to rest at the very beginning? Donut no. Donut no. And, oh, we got... Glory Seeker? A group of hostile creatures has managed to surprise you. Just a Glory Seeker? Okay, we'll, we'll start the fight. Is it just one guy? Just one person trying to slay us all. It's going to be glorious -ness. It is a Glory Seeker, after all. Let's put this Glory Seeker in a hole. So, he got to go last. Is it liter It's literally just the one guy. He's got 58 life. One on four, eh? I mean, I don't know if you're actually going to get an attack. You did. But you missed. So what is a glory seeker? What the deuce are you? You look like a paladin of some sort. Probably. So let's get you in there. Just going to, like, stab him to death. That, that's pretty much the entire strategy right now. Poke, poke. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, we hit him with a 26. We hit him with a 21, so his arm AC is at least below 21. So an 11 is a miss, so it's 11 to 21. You are going to come around here and do much the same, except you're going to bash him with your mace. Bonk. Okay, so it's higher than 12. Let's see, I'm going to swap you over to that. I'm going to actually have you do a spell here. You're going to get Shield of Faith on yourself. So now you have 20 AC without your shield, end turn. And you are going to Stabby Stabby. Actually, we'll use the cunning action to get away. We are going to do a Disengage. With our bonus action. That way we can move back. And shoot him with arrows. Reason being I... Oh! 
Oh. You've already spent your free invent. Okay. Mm and we can't swap off of that because our hands are full. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could figure out if this works. Go ahead and use it. End turn. I'm guessing you actually ended up getting that. The arrows. We'll see. Oh, oh nice critical. Formidable. Sweet. And as far as spells go, you'd actually have to swap things to actually get out your spiritual weapon. So, end turn. They're trying. They're failing. Wow. You okay? Are you going to action surge or something? Wow. That's three attacks. Did it really do... I think it did an action surge. And it's using its longsword two-handed, which is very strange to me. Ooh. So 16 is a miss. So he's probably got like 17 or 18 ah. AC, if Next I had to guess. Time, I swear. So we may not want to stick with that. So you're back up to AC 22. Keep bashing on him. Ooh. 15 is a miss. Let's see. End turn on you. You can now swap... So, let's see. On your inventory. I think it did just generate 20 arrows. I think that's just like an endless little production of them. There you go. You're, you're going down, sir. And do we shadow step? I think that restores on a short rest. Yeah, shadow step to there. End turn. Why? Because we can. Why not? So let's see. Do we Herald of the Sun? I think we Herald of the Sun, you. Huh? Did you save? He saved. Damn you. He still takes six radiant damage from it, but it's unpleasant. So you are going to get the heck out of dodge. He's going to get an opportunity attack. And it hurts, but you are going to get away. And can you actually cast a spell with that? Go ahead and drop that out. There. Now we have a spiritual weapon as well. Nice miss. He's definitely going after Normie. I'm fine with him going after Normie. Normie's not that scary. I mean, Normie has plenty of tools with which to fight this guy, so that's definitely a hit. And, okay, so yeah, his AC was under 20. So I don't know what that guy's story was. 175 XP for the one guy. What did you actually have on you, my friend? A heavy crossbow. You had short sword, a bunch of bolts. Hideous laughter. What class were you, my dude? Loot all. So close that inventory. Let us see. So you actually got some rations, so it can go on him. And I think we might actually give you the heavy crossbow. Although, I think our... You really have to study for a geomorphology quiz, but just can't. Aw. <laughs> How you doing besides that, Hasanka? Okay, so close range is... Lo That's a longer range weapon. I think we actually want this on the Cleric. Because the Cleric needs to stay back a bit more. So you are going to get the Heavy Crossbow. 1d10 versus 1d8. So that's going to be your big shot. Shot to the gullet, if I will. You need two more quizzes to fix your grade. Ouch. I, I hate having to chase grades, but I do remember that very, very acutely. So I, I know how that feels. Hopefully they go well. Hopefully there's... Let's actually throw those over to you as well, because you are low on bolts, my friend. We need to buy more bolts. We need to craft more bolts. We need to do more bolting. So that is supplies for you. And yes, you got hurt pretty bad in that. In the scientific classes, you'll take a passing grade. <laughs> Understandable. Some of the some of those classes can get pretty tough, especially whenever they're asking you to like memorize specific terms and stuff. So, what are you crafting right now? You are crafting nothing. I'm going to have you craft some bolts. 
you are not crafting anything, you're not crafting anything, and you're not crafting anything. No one's crafting anything! Why? 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 So you guys can make some more poisonous bolts. You could make some poisonous arrows. Ah. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hydrated myself. So let's see. What? Hmm... That's a tough decision as to what I want to be shooting at a things. Because we are getting to the point where we actually can start using poisonous bolts as well. I think I'm going to have you be a poison priest, my friend. <laughs> You're going to start using poisonous bolts to do even more damage with that, if you can hit. So 16 successes on that, and yeah, everyone's doing good. So let's go ahead and continue on with our journey. Hopefully don't... Actually, I wouldn't mind running across more of those single target things where you can gang up on them, which is like multiple hits. Because, yeah, even though they're like higher level than us, we can bash through those pretty easily. Hey! We finished crafting some regular crossbow bolts. So, the party has finished long rest and consumed four units of food. Thankfully, we have lots of food, so we've all rested up. Spell slots are restored. You are going to go ahead and you have Bane as your domain. I do think this is still his best setup. Whereas you... Yeah, you're a healer with a little bit of offense. So, yeah, I don't think we'd need to be changing your spells anytime soon. Collected. Hey, we collected some crafting ingredients. They tell old war stories. They didn't find any food. It's a shame, but it's okay. Hey, basically poisoned bolt. It's basically poisoned. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the inventory. You've crafted that bolt. Where is it? We should have more than... we. I think we have some poison arrows as well? Question mark? So, do we actually... Where did that actually end up? Who does it end up on? You. You have the basically poisoned bolt. I thought we had some poisoned arrows, too. So, that can go in on you. Yeah, that's just a normal crossbow bolt. That's going to go to you. Just to fill you up. You don't fire enough bolts to really carry a full load, but you do carry a decent number. So you need to go ahead and give those to Hasanka. So now you have poison bolts on your alt and normal bolts to spare. So that's going to be good for you. I could have sworn we had poison arrows somewhere too. But I'm not seeing them anywhere. Maybe... Oh yeah, no, that's another poison bolt. Was this... Oh, that's a poison arrow. Okay, so poison arrows on you, poison bolts on you. Just in case we need them. And you'll have it on your alt slot. There we go. That's much better. That way you guys can poison all the all the buggers. Do some extra damage with it, mainly. Because I don't think it applies like a poison effect. I think it just applies poison damage. A searing pain. Be helpful against things that aren't resistant to poison, at the very least. So let's see what kind of nonsense we can get into in here. So we're helping our teacher, our former teacher, find artifacts with our poison arrows and our murder hobo ways. Because this is mostly a tactics game. It's not a... So where is he going to be hiding at? I think he's going to be in here somewhere. Unless he's, like, decided to go into the depths of doom. Ah, oh, there he is. So, up we go. Everybody just gonna run up there. Find the quickest path. Can we actually fast forward up to there? Uh, sort of. We could go to the tower or we can go to the inner fort. I think we're gonna just fast travel to the inner fort. It's gonna make life a little bit easier. Then we come up here and we talk to you. How are you doing, Master Dakin? As opposed to Dagon. 
I, I, I'm seeing a lot of names that do remind me of Critical Role here. Dagan, Dakin. Um, yeah. <laughs> there, there's been others. It's just been like in the back of my head like, hmm, that's a thing. So what do you have to say to me, good friend? There you are. He's tall. Are you ready for this? I am. Any idea how to get up there? One or two. I tried to think of a way, but still, this place is incredible. Did you notice that there was a minor gate just here in the courtyard? As a matter of fact, I did. Let's get to it, if you don't mind. A minor gate. So we actually could just... Where in the courtyard was that? I thought I, I remembered seeing it somewhere as well. I'm guessing it's in here? Yeah, there it is. We can't interact with it, though, so we can't just teleport around. So enter the tower. Oh, okay. So we need... Mm, how do we get up there? I'm thinking we need flight of some sort. And we currently do not have a said flight. We got jump, which is not going to allow them to jump higher. It allows horizontal. And you do not have flight either. Hmm. I'm actually not positive how to get up there. We need to learn flight, maybe, or get a flight scroll, but... Oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh, dude is following us. Okay. Hmm. I'm not positive on what I'm supposed to do to get up there. Enter the tower. Yeah, I get it, but... If you can reach it, you'll be able to drop a rope for the others to come to get there. However, you might need to fly or... Yeah, you need flight. So you hopefully can afford a flight scroll. Because I think we sold our flight scroll, unfortunately. Do you actually have one, my friend? Hopefully this merchant has one. Otherwise, we are going to be going way back to the be back to town to be like, Hey, can we buy a flight scroll from you? Kind of nice if we could. Magic. Scroll of fly, 575. So we can get... About 350 gold, we should be all right. Does that give us... No, that doesn't give us a lot of money. This gives us some money. That's 110 right there. Although, I... Honestly, do I need enchant... Yeah, you use scale mill. We need medium armor. We don't necessarily need the primed leather armor. Although, AC is more important than not. Um, we're probably not going to use the Battle Axe. Probably not going to use the Mace. So we'll sell that. That's not worth anything. That's worth one gold. Those are not worth much. Although we do have a diamond. It's not going to give us... I really don't want to sell that diamond, by the way. It's a 500 gold piece diamond. That's kind of rough. That, can we just sell one of you? I th think we're going to have to restack them real quick. So you are going to go and make me a spot. So pick that up and throw it on him. Oh, you're too far away? Okay, throw it on him. So I actually have room to separate these out. Is it right click? Split. Validate you. So we're gonna keep one revivify. We have a revivify on the crown, so we we still have our two revivifies. So let's go ahead and get that scroll of flight. Almost there. So if we sell one. I hate selling ways to revive people, but it's okay. It's okay. Go ahead and take the flight. 
conclude. So now we have a scroll of flight. I think we'll go ahead and give it to the dwarf. Can he actually use that, or do we have to use it on with a mage? I hope we don't need a mage to use it. Okay. You can't. You probably can't either, because you're a cleric. Can you cast it? Nope. So the only one left that could possibly cast it is you. You can! Go ahead and cast it on yourself. Okay, so you can fly up to there and put down a rope. Lordy. Okay, so now there's a rope down. We can come up. We have Master Dakin as well. So everybody is in. Everybody, we're, we're, we're in a good position here. I'm hoping we don't need flight again. That's something I need to remember. We will need, like, mobility stuff in this. Yes, we're about to leave the current area. Let's go in to the Tower of Sidewaysness. Yeah, it's horizontal. It's good to know that the sword, the spell sword can actually do the flight thing, though. Fantastic. It looks like, well, another world. You must have seen so much. I have, but this is still fascinating. Well, I see where you got your passion for learning. Let's look around. Gather all the antiques we can. Oh, so we're going to gather some antiques here. Nice. I'm not seeing anything really highlighting besides that. Okay, so that gives us a path up and around. I'm not sure we want Master Dakin with us in the actual... Yeah, he's just... He's not even a thing, is he? <laughs> Everybody's like... Oh, 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 Master Dakin, you are not doing too well at the... Yeah, you are not good at jumping. Okie dokie. You're going to stay back. You stay in cautious mode. You're going to... We're actually all going to go into cautious mode. We're going to send our rogue up front.